In the video called Genshin Could Never, I made a funny video comparing Genshin Impact and Honkai Star Rail. I did this because a five-star character, Dr. Ratio, became free in Honkai Star Rail. I was joking about how Genshin gets treated worse. In the comments, I joined in teasing some Genshin players who claimed their game was better because it's an open world game, etc. We called their comments copium, like they were in denial. Then I noticed a comment from someone named Eternal Serpent 915. They explained why they liked Genshin, and I just replied with copium. Another comment from Jinju Heart 8759 caught my eye. It said, author of this post, shares what value Genshin gives them to give a more nuanced view of this discussion. Doesn't insult anyone. General response, copium. I think it's wonderful you shared this, OP. People tend to forget that there is more to life than free rewards. Ignore the copium remarks. If you find value in this detail with Genshin, then enjoy it with no regrets. They appreciated what Genshin meant to the original poster and said, we should enjoy things without regrets. This made me realize I was causing problems between Star Rail and Genshin players. I saw a bigger issue. People in the community quickly judge each other. If someone likes Genshin, they're called a shit eater who cannot see the issues with the game and a white knight. And if someone criticizes Genshin, they're labeled as a hater. A perfect example of this was on the recent video of Tectone called Zai Zero X Doro 44 and Braxophone are in big trouble. Where Doro 44 looks like he is excited about the next update, but he gets shitted on because he was always positive on Genshin and that he could not see the issues on Genshin. And so Doro gets even more shit for simply liking the game. It goes further. It goes further. So there's this narrative now where Doro is a mindless Genshin Impact cuck. And it's going around rampantly. So much so that he has to address it on Twitter by saying this. I'll be straight up with y'all. I don't give a f if you don't like me for being positive or always finding the good in Genshin. Genshin has a lot of problems that I talk about a lot on my streams. But people hate on me for being excited about stuff. So there's no winning I get. Does indeed acknowledge the issues of Genshin. While Tectone was getting shitted on because his opinion on the new update was lackluster... This shows the fundamental issues in the Hoyoverse community. The game will never improve if we are keeping in fighting together. I'm not saying that aren't people who think Genshin has no flaws, but hating on a person opinion and making fun of them is not a solution either. I want to say sorry to Eternal Serpent 915. We shouldn't fight within the community. We should respect each other's opinions. Even if we disagree, we should listen and not just say copium or a shit eater. If we want things to get better, we need to work together as a community. We should identify the major issues in Genshin, like the lack of endgame content and replayable events, and a better artifact loadout system, but also learn to respect different opinions. That's how we can grow as a community.